Ho, ho, ho. It is time of the year once again. Believe me or not, this is my third Christmas gift video since this channel began. I really enjoy doing this yearly episode. It's kind of a religious thing, a celebration to an end of a hardworking year. Also sentimental signifies we all grow a year older, gain a year of experience and have a stronger bond as friends and family. So today, I have a list of exciting products to show you. Some in first hands that I may cover in future review videos, some I have been using for a while. I'm also doing a big, yes, very big giveaway today. To win the prize, you will have to stay tuned until later in this video. I hope that some of the items here will end up in your camera bag because I have things that suit all types of use and budget. Let the show begin! Ho ho ho! Hi, my name is Jimmy Chang, a professional photographer and filmmaker, and of course, Father Christmas. This channel is about sharing my 15 years of commercial experience of being in photography and filmmaking. And yes, being a Father Christmas as well, with an aim to help you become a better photographer, videographer, or both, or maybe even Father Christmas too. I'm also an Olympus ambassador, so you will see a lot of Olympus gears in this channel as a result. Together with tech and gadget reviews to help you yeah, improve the quality and hit rate of your shots. So smash that subscribe button. Also put on the bell notification so you don't miss any future content. Yeah, for me, the famous Father Christmas. Yes, Father Christmas uses Olympus. So being an Olympus guy, of course I would like to highlight a couple of cameras that will make you happy. I have chosen the EM10 Mark IV and the EM1 Mark III as the budget and expensive gift ideas for photography or hybrid photographer lovers. First, if you haven't seen my EM10 Mark IV review, and here is the link. I know many may argue that in terms of features, the EM10 Mark III may present a better value, especially that is at a much lower price point since the introduction of the newer model. But having said that, the new Mark IV is technically a more advanced and powerful camera. The two most notable feature improvements were the upgraded 20 megapixel live mode sensor that brings it in line with the rest of the OMD family. Second, the new AF algorithm that brings you all the cool stuff you get with flagship in one Mark III and better with video too. It may not be as significant as you may like, but I think it's significant enough for me, Father Christmas, to go a better camera, at least in my hands. Second, EM1 Mark III. You can also check out my video reviews of this very camera on here. I personally use the EM1 to photograph Mother Christmas and the younglings in this family. It is very cool. The latest Mark III is a significant boost in multiple areas from the Mark II which makes my professional life a ton easier as a result. As you know, I shoot models and portraits and all kinds of reindeers a lot, so the enhanced eye and face detection is a godsend. Don't forget that it works in video too, which is totally sick. <laughs> then the new nipple joystick also speeds up my work dramatically and it also allows me to change focusing point on the fly while recording video, just like the EM1X. And this makes it a true hybrid camera for me, and all in an IPX1 weather seal body. Enough said, perfect for the Arctic shot. Yeah, and in the Lapland, and in anything cold, sandy, dusty, anything. Ah. Okay, I have a few to say here, but as I don't want to make this an ultra long video, I will make this rather quickly. I have a lot of presents to wrap, so 
you understand. First and the most expensive item here is the brand new Olympus M Drigo 150-400 f4.5 TC 1.25x Pro Lens. Okay, I don't even have it on my hands because I can't afford one until I sell a couple of my reindeers. But then my business will suffer as a result. So I have to think very, very carefully. But it's a truly remarkable piece of optical engineering masterpiece. It reflects the blood and soul of true Olympus. Yes, and also being a low volume production lens, it will become a collector's item as a result. Yes, I am definitely going to get one myself. Second, on the similar line, the new M Drigo 100-400 f5-6.3 IS is the next best thing if you can't afford that big piece I just mentioned. I don't have to say much about it, it's capable, weather seal, and okay, it may not be as desirable as the bigger brother I just mentioned, but it's also more affordable. It is selling like hotcakes around the world at the moment, or more like mince pie. So there you have it, you can see my reviews up here too. Third is Lauer's 50mm Macro. This guy here is pretty cool, all thanks to the 2 to 1 magnification that gets you so much more macro power over the normal 1 to 1 lenses. It's also the first official Michael Forther lens from Lauer since they joined the MFT Alliance. It means that you can control the aperture via the camera instead of the ring, and it also transmits the proper metadata to your image file as a result. Built and image quality? Do I have to say more? It's a lower lens, but you will have to stay tuned for my long term review of this little guy here. Fourth and fifth are per gear. Okay, I did say every budget, right? If you are okay with manual lens, you can't get better or cheaper performing new lens from Pergis 25 and 35mm lenses. Both have a fast 1.8 aperture, impeccable metal and glass construction, with impressive image quality for the price. Yes, price. Both are selling well within $100 range. And that is value for money. I should pack them in my bag. Yeah, right now. Being Father Christmas, you know bag is important for us, both for holding the presents and of course holding the camera when I'm out and about shooting people. That sounds wrong. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Anyway, yes, camera bags are important and I am very very happy that I have a big collection of them. So I'm gonna show you a few here today. They are my choices and they are very good for many reasons, for fashions or functions. First is the most expensive bag here, and this is a rather rare and exclusive camera bag that is handmade by leather specialist Bleu de Chauve in France. This is as BDC was made exclusively for Olympus Penef system in 2018. They do make two sizes, and I have the bigger one here, which fits two cameras and a few lenses plus space for a 13 inch laptop. The craftsmanship is exquisite. It's currently still available to buy on Olympus European website. It's also a collector piece. As far as I know, Blue the Shift no longer makes this particular model here, and it means whatever they have in private sellers or online, that's all. Once they are gone, they are gone. Second, well, my favorite Billingham Hadley Pro 2020. I have two. One burgundy, suit my outfit here, if I'm in a party mood. And also, this new navy colorway. This is a smart and functional bag that suits various different situations. Fully weatherproof, I need it in the outtakes, and heavily padded, it offers great protection to your micro faucet system, and without making you look like a geek on the street. That's not Father Christmas once. And third, okay. If you do want to look like a camera geek, a full-blown journalist, war photographer, this little guy here, not little, this little guy here, I keep saying little, this guy here, the Low Pro Pro Tactic MG160AW2 will be your choice. 
I still don't know why Lopro always have this very, 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 very long name of their bags. Anyway, this is one of the best full feature utilitarian shoulder slash string camera bags around. In a typical black ballistic material, it's rugged as hell. Yes, unlike other two bags, you need a condom. Sorry for that word. You need a rain cover to make it proper waterproof. But it is the most functional and cheapest of the bunch here. Lastly, oh yes, this little guy here. Proper little this time. It's the Cozy Speed Speedomatic. Designed for small system cameras, and this one right here is yet another limited Olympus edition. Again, you can pick this bad boy up from Olympus European website and some selected retailers. This is a great little bag for one camera, one lens setup. But don't get deceived by its tiny size. It can hold a few items such as your phone, batteries and credit cards. Perhaps a few more prime lenses if you want. This is also a system that you can expand. You can add other pouches to it, but only if you want to. Uh, but if you're a minimalist, this may be your best buddy for street and travel photography. Mm -hmm. Right, for those who still use tripods, I am talking to you right here, landscape, astro and video guys and girls. They are very useful and I would like to say needed if you want to produce the highest quality of work. Despite Olympus has the best and insane IBIS around, you need them because you can't hand hold over 30 seconds. If you can, you are not human. You are a robot. First, my premium selection is the three legged things Ray. I really like using this guy here. I've done a review on it. It's proven to be way more versatile than I thought originally. I've been using it for both photography and filmmaking. And it is also my default streaming support because I can convert it into this. Yes, very sturdy table tripod when I swap out the carbon legs to the metal footwear. Very good. It is also very flexible and is crazy with a load capacity of 30 kg. That is nuts. It also looks good with all those exposed carbon fiber tubes and brightly colored metal components. It just takes all my boxes. But if you are starting out or even an advanced photographer who are looking for a good sturdy support, this, this here, <laughs> the Manfrotto new B3 Advance is worth considering. It is a travel tripod and it does fold neatly and tucks everything away. It does come with a surprisingly solid ball head that shouldn't have a problem with your cameras unless you are planning to put a bazooka on it. It may not be all singing, all dancing tripod like top end tripod, including the ray I just mentioned earlier, but I love its design, sturdiness and near folding flat legs. Oh, that is cool. A special mention that B3 Advance can also order as a new kit that includes the new three-way live fluid head. This little guy here that folds flat like a Starship Enterprise. Cling on. Sorry about that. I'm being a little childish here. Right, I think this head is pretty cool as it works very well for both photography and video. It's suitable for small to medium sized cameras, particularly suitable for mirrorless system like your Micro Four Thirds. I enjoy using this head for some travel vlogs with my reindeer and also the B3 Advanced and also on camera slider because it's compact footprint. Again, this is aiming for beginner and amateur level. If you're a dedicated videographer or someone who are very serious, yes, serious about photography and uses bigger system and bazookas, you may want to use something more specialist and focused solution. Finally, this is the Benro Slim Carbon Travel Tripod. It is the cheapest of the bunch. It's also probably the cheapest carbon tripod I've tested. It doesn't sing or dance like the other two here, but it's lightest, 
and also the tallest. But having said that, it is not suitable for photographers or videographers who have heavier kit, since it doesn't have a high payload. But for beginners, TikTokers can go. Yeah, I have no idea what TikTok is, but people talk about it. An Instagrammer who likes to shoot vertical. Yes, no one shoots vertical. You must be idiots. This can be used for less than £100 if you shop around. A great companion for your EM10 Mark IV or the pen cameras too. Congratulations! You have reached the final part of this video. And here's the giveaway. I'm not sure if you noticed all those lovely cinematic slide shots that I've included in most of my recent reviews and also in this video were all made with this, the Zipon Power Slider. Yeah, it's a very cool thing here. Yes, which I also reviewed earlier this year. It's been well used and my workhorse in producing those lovely product shots. This video is not sponsored by Zipon, but they just wanted to say thank you for those who watch my channel and this video. So it doesn't cost you anything, nor me for that matter. This is totally a free giveaway as a thank you to you and to me. Ah, so thank you. Thank you, Zipon. Yes, you're not going to get this used one. They are going to send you a brand new one, of course. To get this lovely power slider, all you need to do is to leave a comment in this video. Tell me what your favorite item or items today. Follow our Instagrams and Facebook. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. This it is. So good luck. I will randomly draw a winner and will be announced in my YouTube video live next Wednesday the 9th of December 2020. So, good luck. Now, back to our final section of this video. If you are in photography or filmmaking long enough, you know that you need more than just the camera and lenses to get great results. Here are some of the great cool gadgets that you may like. First, the HNY filter system. For those who use filters, I'm not talking about your protection filters or standard UV filters. I am talking about ND, neutral density, grads, polarizers, the proper stuff, if you know what I mean. You are probably accustomed to things like normal standard circular filters or square system like the Lee filters. HNY is new, came from Kickstarter. It uses an ingenious design that adapts to any size of filter threads of your lenses. And yes, it is pretty cool. It means that you can save a lot of money buying various individual filters for different thread sizes and also save a lot of space when you are traveling. It's a truly cool idea for those who use filters. Second, Joby Bimo. Okay, lights. Who needs lights? We all need lights because photography is about light. Videography is about light. So I have a lot of lights. And in 2020, we have this brand new Cube LED from Joby. I love it because, well, first, it's a bloody bright light for its size. Second, it's modular. You can hook up four of them together. Yes, pretty cool. Yeah, and you can use the built-in Bluetooth to connect to your smartphone and control the intensity and effects too. And second, oh, yes, it's also waterproof up to 30 meter depth so you can use it as a fill light and when you're out and about in rainy situations or even an underwater light when you're scuba diving and third you geeks are going to love it because it can charge wirelessly too now i have some straps from wanda and jisoo all of us need straps and if you are very picky with comfort and functionalities something that the standard kit strap won't give you. Here we go. First, we have these three new straps from a pretty cool company. I have a camera neck strap, a wrist strap, and yet another neck strap for smaller devices or as a lanyard for small pouches. 
But out of the bunch, my favorite is the camera neck strap. It has a quick release feature that allows you to take on and off the camera with ease. Perfect if you need to switch from carrying around your body and put it on a gimbal or tripod. Yeah, always dangerous to leave your strap flapping around on a tripod on a windy day. So, you either don't use it or take it off. Also, unlike other quick release straps you've seen on the market, you are taking the entire strap away with nothing left dangling around the strap lock while in use. That is pretty cool. It also has a hidden tool for tightening your tripod support plates too. And that is thoughtful. Oh, don't worry about this flimsy looking strap ends. One that guarantees that it can hold 30 kilograms. Yeah, it can hold a bazooka. Very good. If you think Wanda is a little too hipster or geeky looking, or if you want something to look and feel more premium and traditional, here I have one of my favorite leather straps from Jissel. Well, if you know this company, none of their stuff is cheap. But this strap is surprisingly affordable for Jissel standard. It's made with genuine carbon printed Italian leather. Really sexy looking, I can assure you. Just like my Jissel Century limited edition camera backpack. The leather is super soft, feels like it's well worn in already. Like Wanda, the strap itself is detachable. But unlike Wanda, it's a buckle lock system. So the ends are still attached to the strap lock on the camera. If you don't mind them dangling around when in use. But it is a preference thing. Personally, I like them both and each serve a slightly different group of audience. Ugh. So that's it folks. I hope you like some or maybe even all the items I listed in this video. Like I said, this is one of those videos that really makes me happy. I make this video as a closure to a hardworking year. In my case, 2020 has been quite a year, perhaps a year that I prefer to forget to be honest. But because of what happened, I found you. All of you who are listening, following me, supporting me all the way through. So here I want to say once again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Remember the Zipon giveaway and also my See the World photo and video competition, which will end at the end of this month. Details will be in the description. So good luck guys, and I shall see you all next time. Merry Christmas and peace. Sliding down. <laughs> come on, just come on, man. No. Yeah, I'm back again. <laughs> mm -hmm.